Hi, I'm Emma. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making a strawberry goat cheese galette. Galettes are one of my favorite desserts to make in the spring and summer, and they're a great way to use up seasonal produce. Before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and let's go ahead and get started. Slice 10 tablespoons of chilled butter into half inch cubes. In a large bowl, whisk together 76 grams of whole wheat flour, 120 grams of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, and three-quarter teaspoons of salt. Add the chilled butter and toss to combine. To work the butter into the flour, snap the cubes between your thumb and pointer finger. This will form lots of little sheets and create a super flaky pastry dough. When the mixture looks crumbly and chunks of butter remain, combine three tablespoons of ice water with one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Sprinkle one tablespoon of the liquid at a time over the dry mixture and toss to combine. Add more liquid as needed until the dough starts to come together. Turn the dough onto a clean, cold surface and form into a disc. Wrap tightly and chill in the fridge for at least two hours or overnight. When you're ready to bake the galette, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Pull and slice one pint of strawberries and transfer it to a medium bowl. Toss the strawberries with three tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of sherry vinegar, and a pinch of salt. Set aside to macerate. To roll out the dough, sprinkle a work surface and rolling pin lightly with flour. Roll the chilled dough by pushing the pin away from you and turning the dough a quarter between each roll. This helps to keep the shape uniform. As the dough becomes thinner, I like to transfer it to a sheet of parchment paper. Continue rolling till it's about a quarter inch thick and then transfer to a baking sheet. Combine half the crumbled goat cheese with the strawberries and pour the filling over the pie crust. Be careful not to pour any of the juices that have collected because this will get a lot juicier. Fold the edge of the pie crust over the filling. Brush the edges with a little cream or eye wash and sprinkle with sugar. Crumble the remaining goat cheese over the top and bake for 40 minutes.
The galette is done when the filling bubbles and the crust is a deep golden brown. Allow to cool for 20 minutes and serve with a sprinkle of sliced basil. And voila, strawberry goat cheese galette. All right, our galette is cooled, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste. The pastry is so buttery and flaky, and the strawberries are nice and juicy and acidic. This is a really simple dessert to make, honestly way easier than making a pie. And the addition of the goat cheese kind of gives it a little bit of a Danish vibe. I've linked the recipe below, but make sure that you like and subscribe for a new video every Sunday. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.